Hello everyone, welcome to Just Invest Today, and today we are talking about the 13F filings that have been recently released, Q2. Guys, man, in my opinion, I feel like everyone is preparing for a market crash, everyone is kind of settling down, it's almost the end of the year, it feels like it, almost winter time, winter is coming, and man, I feel like people are just kind of trimming their their main stocks, preparing for the worst, man. From everything I'm reading, everything I'm seeing, the market rate, that's what I'm got. I, I, I've said this like a lot of times, but I'm going to keep repeating it. Where we are in the market, it feels like we're at the almost 7th, 8th, ninth inning of like the whole market right now. So I feel like a lot of these like super investors are preparing. The ones that I like, the ones that are have actually very long success in this game and the ones the people I follow yeah man they're 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 struggling to really buy stuff and when I mean buy stuff I mean put a huge bet on a new company guys the these super investors are waiting for the market to turn like there's no debating that like let's go over some people first we're gonna go to Bill Ackman so Bill Ackman did purchase uh, Domino's Pizza uh, I think it was the last quarter but guys, look how much Domino's Pizza had to drop. Domino's had to drop like 20-30% for him to actually have that, that put that like 8% bet on the stock, right? So that's what people are waiting for right now. Like all these super investors are waiting for these moments that the stocks fall, that they actually, the companies that they respect and want to own for a long time to drop like 40%. Look, he's, his top holding Bill Ackman trimmed off 15%. And then every uh, everything else he trimmed off a little bit, but like that just shows you like I don't expect Bill Ackman to make any moves, man. Like I feel like he's like done for this year unless something extremely crazy happens in the market where it turns big on it, right? Now we're gonna go to Warren Buffett and look what Warren Buffett does. He he's staying pat. He reduces cost bases on the, some of these companies and he invested in Kroger. But I think this is Todd or, um, this is probably Todd or someone, uh, probably not Buffett, because Buffett sees this market as more competitive, the grocery sphere, so I doubt he's, in, like, he's the one going all in, in, he's the one going all into it, um, I'm avoiding anything that has to do with groceries, I am avoiding, like, this, it's just too competitive, man, especially since Amazon owns Whole Foods, you know Amazon, what they're going to do and how they just finesse the system. So, anything groceries, I am not touching. But look, we know how much money. Warren Buffett has like $140 billion just sitting on the side waiting for a downturn. He, probably, he knows. I know for a fact, for sure, Warren Buffett thinks the market is probably a little bit overvalued right now. Maybe not in bubble territory, but maybe a little bit overvalued. So, Buffett is going to stand pat and wait, guys. And that's what they're doing. They're probably adding a little bit of positions here, but they're dropping 74%, 20%, 48%, 15%. Like, they're just dropping these companies, man. And they're just going to stand pat until the market does something different, guys. Because what I'm seeing is that they're probably expecting a market crash. They're trying to expect something to go the opposite way. And that's what I'm seeing a lot from these investors right now. They're not putting... There's no one putting these huge bets on companies. Because, guys, as soon as that market turns, you are going to see huge bets on companies. And I guarantee you, you know, Michael Burry, even though he's done a lot, you know he does this all the time. He adds, buys, adds, buys, sells off a lot of stuff. But you know how pessimistic Michael Burry is of the market. So... We don't even have to go through there. He's betting against Tesla. He's betting against Kathy Woods. His only call options are like Facebook and Google, right? Her his major calls, and then these he just kind of goes in and out of these like these stocks like here, like Discover, CVS. He just goes in and out as he wills. But you know he has a, a very strong view of the market. He feels like it's in the, one of the biggest bubbles. So that says a lot because like if Michael Burry can call that, like I said it before, like. He's going to he's going to be seen if he's able to take down Kathy and Elon because he's calling out he's put huge put options on these companies. He might be seen as a god if he gets that right, right? So who knows uh, right now, but we can just see how defensive everyone is right now. 
And I still think that's going to go into quarter three. Like, I still don't think that's going into the next quarter. We're not going to see a lot of buys, man. Like, we're not going to see a lot of movement, a lot of buys. Everyone's going to be more defensive. We got Seth Clareman. Man, he's reducing his... He reduced his top three holdings. So... But he did add Micron. He sees Micron at the undervalued, which Micron took like a 10, 15% dip. And that's what I'm saying, man. You guys are waiting for these opportunities. He invested in Facebook. Look at that. Reduced, 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 reduced. Like, everyone's playing defensive right now. And I see this continuing. Like, tell me if I'm wrong. Like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think these people are waiting for, like, a, a dip? Do you think... People are going to be more offensive. Like, they're going to buy these... They're putting a 10 15% bet on these companies. Like, I just don't see that happening. And even uh, Morse Pabrai. Like, Monish is chilling, man. He's going to have these three stocks. He's going to hold them. He might be buying more Baba. And that's what I'm seeing. Like, these... The only the only thing I'm seeing is that a lot of these super investors like Monish, like Guy Spear, um, Charlie Munger, guys, like... The Chinese sector is in a market crash. So that's why you see a lot of these companies getting picked up. Because that's the only sector that they see that's in an actual market decline. Which makes sense since why they're putting 10% bets, 20% bets. Like, that's when you want to put those huge bets down. When you know the market is going through turmoil or a certain sector is going through turmoil. So that's what you're seeing in the market right now. Morris Pabrai's, the Guy Spears, the Greg Alexanders, the, the Ray Dalios, those people of the world, they're, they're putting these bets on the Chinese equities because they understand like that's the only sector going through a crash. That's the only sector that it, that pretty much corrected itself. So that's what I'm seeing from this quarter. Guys, I think this is going to continue. This is going to continue throughout this year unless we see something dramatic happen in the market because in general, I think the market is like more out of its overvalued state, like, in the middle of an overvalued state, so, even though we don't look for that, we're looking for individual companies, we kind of ignore the market, but even individual companies are not, that we respect, that we understand and, like, like, they're not going through turmoil right now, they're still going very strong, the companies that we enjoy and we like, that we know are profitable, right, so, tell me what you guys think, do you expect, the, do you expect them to invest when there's another market crash, do you expect the market crash to happen this year, maybe next year? Do you expect them to put a 10% bet in this market? Man, there's so many questions. Tell me what you guys think. Guys, if you like this video, like it. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to get back to you in the next video. Peace.